Hi, Kevin. Uh, I'm sorry you're having difficulty on the completing the square questions. It is one of the hardest topics in math for sure, but it's really important that you understand it. So I want to just go over these two questions with you because I can see um, that you're making the same mistake in both cases. And I think once I explain that, then you'll be able to, uh, to do these much easier. Um, Starting with 2, the problem is that when you're taking out the common factor of the 0.4, you have to divide it out of both of those first two terms. Um, so when you do that, let me see where I can write it, um, 0.4, 4, 4.8 divides by 0.4 uh, 12 times. So what you want to do is put 12x here, okay? You can do that on your calculator if you're not sure. So in the, in the next line, in this line here, um, you should be working with 12 as the coefficient of the x term. So the rules of completing the square, they say take half of this number, this 12, and then square it. So 1 half of 12 is 6, and 6 squared is 36. So what I'd like to see is a plus 36 minus 36 written in those brackets here. So when everything comes out, um, you should have x squared minus 40, or 4 point, uh, sorry, x squared minus 12x plus 36 minus 36, and that's all that should be there. So it should look like this, 0 0.4 times x squared minus 12x plus 36 minus 36 plus 21. So when you factor that as a perfect square, it's going to be x minus 6 all squared. Now the 0.4 times a negative 36 is going to come out as minus 9 when you multiply those, plus 21. And that'll leave you with 12 at the end there. And so your maximum is going to occur, or your minimum is going to occur at 6, um, when uh, you when uh, you get a maximum production of uh, sorry 21 toys would have to be made to give you the minimum production at uh, x equals six no sorry the cost so if you make six toys uh, 21 is the is the profit there now that's going to also change your uh, solution for b because you're going to be working with a different formula. Uh, and the same thing for question four, you set up your formula correctly, and that's great, because that's usually the really hard part. Uh, so you've got all that figured out, you've got your quadratic equation created. It's when you're doing your common factoring right here that we're having trouble. If you divide a minus three out of each of these terms, uh, you're going to get minus three times w squared and then because it's plus 120w, you're dividing minus 3 out, you're going to get minus 40w. So now when you're completing your square, we have minus 3 times w squared minus 40w. All that stays the same. Half of 40 is 20. 20 squared is 400. So we're going to put in plus 400 minus 400. And so when you factor that as a perfect square, you're going to get w minus 20 all squared and then the 3 has to multiply by the 400 before it comes out. So we have negative 3 times negative 400 so plus 1200 for your answer there. And so your dimensions will actually be um, your width is 20 and then you can go back in and figure out the length which I think is going to be 60 this time um, to give you your maximum area. Okay so Hopefully that helps. It's just um, you're just it's just this step and this step here where you're you're having difficulty with completing the square. What I would suggest is that you look this over, make sure that you understand it all right, and then um, since we did just question two and four to hand in on this assignment, um, if you'd like to do another shot at this one. Um, then I won't post a mark on 2 and 4, and what you could do is just 1 and 3 and hand those in and show me that you've got this uh, figured out. And you can also check with me before you hand stuff in if you're not sure, um, and then that way we could catch something like this before you hand your assignment in because I can see that you were just not feeling 100% confident on that by your comments that you sent in. 
So let me know what you'd like to do. Um, I can mark this one, or you can send in question one and three, and I'll, and I'll mark those instead for this assignment. Okay? Thanks, Kevin.